awesome way to start a Friday. You know what's an awesome way to start a Friday? Is with your lower lip lowered. I mean, your top lip going, hi, I still have stitches in here. Welcome to Friday, guys. I'm going to wait for some people to come on here. But in the meanwhile, I'll just let you know that uh, today we're going to talk about what the heck people think about you. And does it really friggin' care? Matter. Does it matter? But I will wait for people to arrive. And in the mo for the moment, I will have my coffee. Yum. How's everybody feeling out there? Tell me where you're from. Tell me what your plans are for the weekend. Tell me how your week's been. Um, good morning, Rose. How are ya? Very nice to see ya. To see that, oh, look at that beautiful flower there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, yay, Robin's here live with us. Awesome. Okay, so I want to talk about people's opinions of us. And as much as we might think that people's opinions don't matter, we're like, oh, I don't care what other people think. We end up realizing that we spend a lot of our time trying, <laughs> trying to please other people, trying to say the right thing, trying to do the right thing, always just trying to worry about everybody else. And you might notice that you walk through life a little stressed out. And the stress, of course, can be about finances. And the stress, of course, can be about a relationship. It can be about a lot of things. But when you really dig down, it's really like, am I liked? Good morning, Francine. Hi, Scott. How are you? Thank you again, Scott, so much, so much. Um, hi, Tracy from the UK. Oh, you're out there or you're always there. I don't remember. Um, but first of all, happy Friday. Welcome to everybody that is here with me. Uh, so basically what I'm saying, because I spent a lot of my life, a lot of my life worrying about people, and I didn't know that I was consciously doing it. I always thought that, you know, I just liked people and I wanted to make them happy, but deep inside it was really about like me. Not about liking them, but it was about like me. Am I okay? Did I do good enough? Am I, you know? And of course I look at that now and I'm like, God, you're a loser. <laughs> just kidding. That's just my sense of humor. Um, but no, I really started thinking about when you end up putting your power over. Hi, Joe. When you end up giving your power to other people and what they think, you end up saying that their opinion of you means more than your own opinion of yourself. And now you might be in a place where you don't feel really good about yourself. And so it might be easy to think that others' opinions are stronger than yours. But I want to say there isn't anyone that's ever guaranteed to spend your entire life with you, no matter how badly you hope for and you want it. The only person that's going to spend every single moment with you is you. And so wouldn't you want to nurture and work on that relationship with yourself more than with anybody else? Hi, Marisa. Oh, nice to see you. Um, wouldn't you want to spend that time with you? Wouldn't you want to make that the most important relationship in your life? Because we spend so much time trying to nurture our friendships and our romantic relationships and our working relationships with people, which are all important. I'm not saying be selfish. But what I am saying is that the time that you spend with yourself is the most sacred. And so take that time that you have every day and give it to yourself. And you know what happens when you end up spending that time with yourself? You end up building yourself up. You end up figuring out that what other people are thinking, hi Suzanne, what other people are thinking or saying just doesn't matter anymore. Because at the end of the day, you can look in that mirror and be like, hey girl, or hey boy, I sure like the person that I see. And so if you are currently in that space where everybody else's opinions of you matter and you put all of your esteem and all of your self-acceptance and love based on what other people are thinking or saying about you, you're going to spend a lot of your time on this roller coaster. You're going to spend a lot of this time going up and down in your life and not understanding why you can't feel grounded. And I want you to feel grounded. And the only way to feel that grounding is within your own soul is to stand there in your own truth. Listen, yesterday... I've been feeling a little down lately. I'm actually going to the doctor today because I'm having some thyroid stuff. And this is just a shout out about something medical. I've been finding out more and more research that a lot of people who have been um, diagnosed with depression or anxiety uh, with things like that really has nothing to do with that. It really doesn't have anything to do with a mental thing, but more to do with a physical with your thyroid. So 
just throwing that out there um, because I've been spending a lot of time looking into these thyroid issues that I have and some of my symptoms. So anyway, I've been feeling like blah and low mood and feeling really disconnected. And I just wanted to be truthful with you guys. I don't want to just always be like, hi, hi, I'm a joyful, happy person which yes, the joy does stem with it from within. And people can feel joyful even when things aren't going great because joy is something that lives within us and it's not dependent on other things to have to be happening, on relationships to have to happen or a bank account full. Joy just is what it is because you're alive. So when you can connect with that, then you can move through life feeling that. So anyway, side note, coffee is kicking in. <laughs> so yesterday I wanted to share about how I've been feeling and the last couple of days. And yesterday I took my wig off. For those that are new here and watching, I wanted to share the truth of who I am. And the truth of who I am isn't always made up, isn't always with the wig, isn't always feeling amazing. Sometimes it is feeling a little hopeless. Sometimes it is filled, filled with doubt and worry. And am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Am I, you know? But the one thing, the one thing, that I can stand in my truth about and stand strongly in is that I've released what the opinions of others, what I feel like they're thinking. Because I know already, number one, that I'm treating people kindly and I'm being honest with people. And if I'm not always and don't always show up as the best person that I can be, or I might not always give what everybody needs me to get, I always take responsibility for it. And I always walk through the world trying and being kind and loving to others. So if someone at some point is not gonna like the person that I am, then I'm gonna have to be like, I'm sorry, but I can't hold that on as the be all of who I am. Hi, Marta. Hello, Lynn. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming, guys. Today we are talking about holding the opinions up here here. It's like I'm going through puberty, holding the opinions of others up here and yours down here. And so I'm just sharing about, you know, we all go through these doubts and things in our lives and, and, and tough circumstances. But the one thing that you can hold on to and the one thing that you can know is that who you are and the truth of yourself, when you can connect with that and be OK with that, then you can do anything, anything in this world. So on this Friday, I just wanted to share that with you. And I want to encourage you to walk through the world. OK with who you are because you're going to have to face you every single day and it's going to be days without hair not all of you just me or some of you that are losing it and it's going to be days where you don't always feel great and it's going to be days where people let you down and it's going to be days where you don't get what you want and succeed and something you've gone for you haven't gotten but if you can walk in the knowingness of your beauty and your magnificence and your light and your love, then when other people disagree with who you are as a person, then that's okay because you can still stand there and say, shit, this is me and I'm proud of me. Even when I don't act my best, I'm trying my best. So with that said, guys, have a beautiful Friday. Please go check out thewellnessuniverse.com. It's my baby. I'm excited to share with you guys. Sign up as a Wellness Universe friend. It is a site that is filled with joy, filled with inspiration, education, support. If you have not been over there, please go. It's doing me a huge favor. Um, have a wonderful weekend and you a favor too because it's great content. Duh. <laughs> I made it all about me. Did you see? I love you guys. Thank you here for being part of Sharing with Sherry. I really, you guys lift me up even in my down times. So I appreciate that. Have a great weekend too, Robin. Thank you, Jesse. Um, I thought about shaving my head, but I have like this giant forehead. Actually, this is not so bad. If I push my wig back, you'll see. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> let's let's adjust my wig on camera, guys. So uh, if I shave my head, I'd be like all forehead. So, all right, guys, I love you so much. Take care of you. Be good to you. Walk in the knowingness of your greatness. Have a wonderful weekend. And if you guys love these videos, please feel, if you can, the support, donate at the link below. This is my dream to thrive, having my own show, being able to spread my messages, stepping on stages. And currently, while I'm working on that, um, you know, some financial help would be great. <laughs> I feel like a dumbo sometimes. I love you guys. Bye, guys.